Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Kevin Lyons. He's the Monroe County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Now, Kevin, you guys have a big event coming up in Monroe County, but before we talk about that, I want to talk just a little bit about the, the goat and the sheep industry in Kentucky. It's uh, something that's definitely showing a lot of uh, more interest uh, the last few years, particularly uh, through our office. I didn't used to have a lot of sheep and goat questions, but last couple of years it's kind of increased. I think that's the common story with a lot of extension agents. We're seeing some growth in people coming into these counties that maybe have a small farm or want to have a small farm or look at some way of diversifying their enterprises. And that's driving a lot of the questions that come through, but it's definitely uh, a lot of interest and in, in it's on the rise. Absolutely. And we have a pretty good market for um, goat and sheep producers to take. So I think that helps. Uh, it does. Well. Uh, we've got some, some good options. We have some uh, folks that are into direct marketing through other sources. So there's different ways, of course, of doing it. And that's one thing that we're going to talk about at the field day will be some marketing options. So yeah, there's, that's the key. We can always say we can grow, we can make everything, but you got to be able to sell it. Absolutely. But I think it does lend well because we can put more goat or sheep on a smaller acreage than, you know, one cow per acre. Yeah. I mean, when you look back at our history in Kentucky, we used to be a, a major sheep and wool producer. Uh, and sometimes things swing and, and, and take a roundabout way and kind of come back into favor again. All right. So tell me a little bit about this field day. Well, our field day is going to be on Saturday, June the 3rd. Uh, I'm a small part of helping advertise and promote it. It's been conducted by the Kentucky Sheep and Wool Producers Association. They're on a farm in Monroe County. Uh, it's Winding Creek Farms. Uh, Harry and Katie Frederick are the owners and operators and, and her parents. Uh, they've got a really nice operation going. They've asked us to kind of join in and provide some help and and advertise for them. So they're looking for a big day that day. So what all are people gonna learn about? You mentioned the marketing options at the field day. Mm -hmm. They have a, a panel on marketing options, as we mentioned, with some buyers and kind of a panel discussion. They'll be going over facilities, uh, showing hands-on demonstrations of the facilities, hands-on demonstrations of the border collies and how they use those to work their sheep. They'll be doing uh, uh, things on health, vaccination. They have several sponsors that are helping put this on. There's no charge. And a lot of those industry types will be doing a uh, part of the program too. So it's kind of really a broad program on health, nutrition, animal facilities, marketing. And I think one of the great things about field days mm -hmm. is that you can talk to other producers. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes you, you develop that network and that's almost as important as the educational parts of that day. Oh, for sure, because they expect a crowd of about 150 people, I think. There are several members uh, of the sheep and bull producers that they expect to come. So it's just not a, a local thing. There's, there'll be folks from all across the state I think you can network with. So that's the main thing. Uh, we often learn things at the educational sessions, but making those connections, that networking, I don't know how you put a price tag on that. It's, that's the key. So, Kevin, anybody across the state that's interested can come and attend this field day? Absolutely. It's free okay. of charge. They have everything covered through their sponsorships and, uh, and an association. They'll serve a nice uh, barbecue lamb lunch, provide lunch for you. So, we we'll hope everybody can come out. Now, Kevin, do they need to pre-register? Do they need to let somebody know that they are coming so they can make meal plans? That would definitely help. There's a couple of ways they can do that. Um, they can, you can do internet search for Kentucky Sheep and Wool. It'll pop up their page, um, and there's a link to registering online through that. Or you can uh, text the phone number that I hope you see on the screen, and they will let you uh, uh, just text them how many's coming. Your email just help prepare for the day. They're gonna put a Monroe County twist on it through Hog Wild Barbecue, so we're looking for a great meal. It's gonna start around nine o'clock and it's gonna run about till three o'clock. Of course, that the ending time can change depending on weather and everything, but I think they're fixed for uh, good weather or bad weather. And if you have questions, make sure to contact the Monroe County Extension Office to get more information or directions to this field day, but a great opportunity. Thanks, Kevin, for being with us and we appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show.